Uh, hi, I'm Jungkoo. So today I'll be presenting my website design. My website design is all about my company that is Oxtails Design. Oxtail Design is a graphic design field company. It's for a web page for the client or the user to view, read, contact and register from us if they are interested in our designing services. So I choose this website because as a designer, we must have our own official website. I choose this color because it's my corporate color. So orange is mostly my business color in this field. Okay, so I manage this page by using Wix.com. I use Wix because it's more convenient for me to connect my business through its database and its web hosting. All these web tools are not taken fully by the web itself. So most of the things I have to add in myself to connect the link, the database, and also its own tools inside. So <clears throat> here are some functions I would like to show you. From the home page at the bottom, you see a register page, a register button. That button will lead you to another website page. That is the online form. So this is the online form. So like example, if I type, I want to post the, I, I fill in all my details inside. So let's say I here. Okay, then I have to verify myself by clicking I'm not a robot. Okay, so now I click submit and it will show us to the page. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch soon. So all the data will be fall under will be fall under to the editor page. So only the the editor can see the database which is the member on my data as you can see here that's where my data is filled in hmm. so so here's how i do To insert and fix these boxes, I have to insert this member data online. This data online will be so I choose to do Okay, so here's how I do. I have to fix up this box manually and set the input of which data I want to put, which database. So I put this icon. This icon, I have to set which database I want to choose. So I choose the only database I have, which is member of my data. So after that, when I put this here, normally users cannot see this icon if let's say it's on live. So I have it set here, I click this box and I click connect to database. 
So there is my database has been connected and its text has been connected to its title. Okay, it's all connected. So when we press to view, we will see like this of the form. So, as for the contact page, as you can see here, okay, so let's say I fill in my name. So now I will send this thing into the website. See, as it appears, thank you for submitting means that it will fly into my email instead of flying inside the website. Okay, it's inside my email. So there's another function. This button here is a messenger for, let's say, if the user the user needs help. So they all ask the admins for help. So let's say I type here, hi there, I need your help. This message will be sent to my dashboard of Wix. So in my dashboard at Wix, you can see that there is a visitor messaging my website. It says, hi there, I need your help. Just as what I type over here. As you can see. So, in conclusion, I have learned a lot of new things, new codings on PHP and web hosting. Honestly, this is not a really easy subject to learn in this lecture. The most difficult problem that I have encountered is to connect our PHP codes to the web server. There's a lot of errors, connection, functions, functions problem in the server. Very big thank you to my lecturer for his guidance to me on my journey to complete this website. So thank you for hearing my video. Goodbye.